Hey everyone, hey, check this out. Uh, I had an opportunity to sit down with Patrick Wood and listen, you are gonna be really blessed by this. The information that he's gonna share is gonna blow your mind and you're gonna be encouraged and you're also gonna be well informed. You are going to like this. You're gonna to wanna to share it with all of your friends. I wanted to do something different for you today. Let me tell you, you're gonna love this. Enjoy the video. Hey, welcome everybody to Hope For Our Times. And uh, we have a, a really good program for you today. Patrick Wood is here, as you can see, still traveling, we are. And uh, we're gonna be getting into the end of the internet in just a minute. I'm gonna ask Patrick about that, something we all need to be aware of. Plus, the global censorship strategy, folks. It is coming, we need to be aware of those things. And uh, listen, before we get going, though, I just wanna remind you all of something. Uh, this June, we have a conference on the seas coming up. Dr. David Reagan is gonna be joining us, along with Alex Newman. Uh, uh, Bill Koenig is gonna be joining us, and also Jeff Kinley. It's gonna be absolutely terrific. You can sign up at hopeforourtimes.com. Listen, it's a time to be well-educated, get around like-minded people, link our arms together, because well, quite frankly, we need that right now. Yes. And the environment is going to be <coughs> terrific. It's seven days. I hope that you all can join us. You'll be able to meet all of the speakers. You'll be able to meet me. We'll be able to hang out with you guys and talk with you. Really looking forward to it. And not only will we be strengthened in mind and link our arms together, get to know people that you haven't met yet that are like-minded, but you're going to be refreshed in your body and uh, in your spirit. You're going to be totally lifted up. So you're going to be super blessed. I hope that you can join us. So we're gonna be talking about the end of the internet as we know it, it's coming. We're gonna talk about global censorship. I'm gonna ask Patrick all these questions. But first, one question I'd like to ask Patrick, then we'll get into those. Patrick, people have been praying for you. The last time you were with yeah. me was, uh, we were right. online, you were in Arizona, yeah. and then later in that week. Like this, uh, <laughs> I was flat on my back. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing to see what God has done and I how know. he's restored you. I know, it really is. And uh, I'm so thankful to be here at this conference, especially. This is the first conference I've been to since then. So it's really been a blessing for us to be there. Yeah, amazing. This is amazing. People have been praying for you. Yes, I I'm know. convinced, I know your wife is convinced. Know. It's the prayers <clears throat> yeah. of the saints. So. Absolutely, I, I've had so many people come up to me here. I didn't know them at all, never seen them. Oh, you're Pat, you're Pat Wood. I've been praying for you every day since I heard it wherever, your host show or something else. It was a, it's like, wow, thank you. And it makes you feel but that big in the sight of God. You know, it's like, wow, he cares of me. He cares, you know, he did it. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, I think it's great. Yeah. It's so wonderful to see you. <laughs> I remember when I first got the news, boy, there were a lot of people that were very heartbroken. Yeah. And uh, now it's just a reminder, everybody, prayer, <laughs> prayer works. Yeah, we have a great God in yes. heaven. And yeah. listen, we're not going to be called home until he says it's time for us to go home. That's right. Um, so Absolutely. I want to ask you, you ready to go? Let's go. The end of the Internet. You've yeah. talked about it. We see it coming. Yeah. Right now, we still have freedom. <clears throat> Fill us in. It's, it's coming. Walk us down that path. It is. Everybody in the universe at this, at this point is clamoring for censorship of us, <laughs> not just of anything in particular, but of us and our side of posi you know, position on things. Um, <clears throat> we see the advent now of AI, especially, where <clears throat> this, this, uh, these tools can intercept our messages on the fly, kill them or bury them six, you know, six feet under, and <clears throat> what it's going to mean is a gradual uh, sub submersion of our documents to where it be it, it, it'll become irrelevant at some point. Case in point, my website, <clears throat> uh, technocracy.news, has had uh, suffered a 80% drop of traffic in the last 18 months. How do, they, how do they do this? I don't know, I don't have a clue. <laughs> I, really, I really don't know, but it has happened. And they've obviously got a bead on me. They don't want information on technocracy out because I really got the goods on them. But this is gonna be the problem 
going forward. With anybody that has anything meaningful to say, uh, they're going to just be buried. The AI tools that exist now are absolutely stunning on what they can do, how, how they can censor, not just written the, word, the written word, but audio, um, video. Once you're tagged, that's it, you're out. <laughs> You're out. So, yes. so who 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 owns the internet or controls it or what entity is there? Because there has yes. to be some ownership of it. Absolutely, there is. Unfortunately, most of the switches in the world are are uh, produced by a, like uh, Cisco, for instance. Uh, the major uh, switch. I don't know what to call them. Switches, r routers. These devices are all over the world. They're all accessible by uh, the people who made them. And any traffic that can be out there in the first place can be limited or cut off. Case in point again, China and other countries too have uh, either denied access from the internet to, to their people or certainly certain websites for, from there, they can't get them there. <clears throat> and it's, well, how do they do that? Well, they, they do it through the routers and the switches and everything. All the traffic goes through those. And uh, you know, you can, you can basically kill them right there in a the spot. So if somebody like, uh, let's say, uh, Turkey um, decides to divorce from the internet for whatever reason, they can do it. <laughs> Boom, it's just gone. They can do it. So <laughs> a government can do it or a private mostly, corporation can mostly, do it, right? Mostly it's done through private corporation, corporations. Absolutely. And that way governments can say, we're not censoring you. Yes, that's right. <laughs> but we've seen governments <clears throat> manipulate private corporations. This, this new revelation we have <clears throat> that's this come out now that uh, suggested that the military has been the one behind, um, or at least military contractors have been in the, uh, behind this scheme to set, a, set up a, an international uh, censorship ring, if you will. <clears throat> they, they have been identified, in my mind, as te te technocrats. Um, but when they did this in a vacuum, then they took it and fed it to, to the government, to our government in particular. And our government then run, runs with this, okay, and circles back and say, well, tech, big tech over here are going to do my, my bidding. It all started in the first place from these technocrat contractors who scheme, who made this whole scheme up on, on their own. <laughs> and then they said, oh, government, you need to take this and make this your, pro your program. So, so okay, I've, I've read before quite a bit about it. DARPA yes. has been heavily involved yes. in this yes. and manipulating things. So you have defense contractors. <clears throat> that, that should be uh, an alert to anybody. You have a defense contractor, yeah. meaning you have the mili it's a military operation against yes. the people yes. using the internet. That's right. And DARPA in particular is full of technocrats. That's their mindset. Uh, the type of projects they invest in are those, you know, the scientists uh, behind it and so on. They're all technocrats. So when they when they imagine this stuff, uh, and imagine meaning they just cook it up, um, you always have to ask why why would they care about this? You know, it's like this the military don't don't they go and fight wars or something? You know, with bullets and all kind of stuff. No, this this uh, scheme is so nefarious at this point that you have to ask questions, are these, are these people uh, leveling their guns at us? Maybe not physical guns, guns at this point, but the guns of, of uh, censorship in order to destroy free speech in our country. Well, interesting, because when we look at um, Daniel chapter seven, 
we have this rising kingdom of the last days that's more from the Roman Empire, has huge iron teeth. It goes about crushing everything. Revelation chapter 6, we have the rider on the white horse. What's the rider on the white horse do? Goes about conquering and to conquer has a bow, which which expresses military might, yes. but it doesn't use <laughs> yes. conventional weapons right. to conquer the masses of the people. That's right. And this could certainly be what we are seeing in the making. Yeah. I would imagine something like this, because they yeah. have to control the people. It, it has to, that's right. Ideas are the, the the, 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 the fluid or the oil in our engine. Ideas. Not all, I mean, a lot of people have different ideas and stuff, but the, the, the free flow of, of discussion and ideas and stuff, this is what is, makes this civilization tick. If you meddle with that, you shut out one, one sign or another, you're going to end up with a, a, like a you know autocratic dictatorship in the, in the end of it, and um, then it, it, this has been the history of the last 150 years. Then, when free speech is sh sh shut down, that is when the shit genocide starts. <laughs> Historically, that's always been the case. They've always come for free speech first. And then the killing starts after that. We're kind of in that stage right now where you can see these people, they're just intent on shutting down all other opposing uh, dissent. So if there is a dissent, which there is, yes. there is, um, we can see the people are pushing back. There's a resistance. Uh, people are pushing back against these globalists, mm -hmm. the technocrats, because we can see what they're doing. Yes. And so they have to eliminate that. Right now, as we look back over the last few years, these technocrats have been able to identify who the problem people yeah. are, yeah. who the problem groups are. Yes. Um, some are churches, some are websites like yours or like mine. Mm -hmm. um, and there's other types of groups out there also. They don't yeah. want any opposing view. So shut them down and then they say kill them in history. Yeah. Wow. That's right. You know, when I started uh, Citizens for uh, Free Speech and back, back in uh, 2018, when I saw the collusion that was taking place between Facebook and Twitter in particular, where somebody would be killed over here and then next day you see them, you know, what, they're over here, not here in, 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 uh, in, as well, I knew that we're going to be in big trouble. <clears throat> and so today, Interestingly, the, the, this uh, re information has been released about um, how these military contractors cooked this all stuff in, up in the first place. <clears throat> it started just before 2018, where the, bay, the big push came up at that point. And now we know who did it <laughs> because it's been revealed. The story will not get get very far, but it's been revealed right now. So we see from Atria, maybe going back to 2016 when they hatched this thing in the first place, going forward 2018, it's gotten worse every year. And if it if it if it keeps up in this trajectory, uh, probably another four or five years, it's going to be over. <laughs> Well, interesting you mentioned that because we also have <coughs> 50 and 5, which is out now. Yes. 50 countries yes. within five years. Yes. They are going that direction. Yes. You say mm -hmm. 2018, we know who did it. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, who would be an entity of different individuals, um, the defense contractors, yeah. the, these globalists? <coughs> that, that's right. They, they, they fed it to the United Nations as well and to all governments really any, anywhere in the world, but they, they, especially to the United Nations. And everybody seems to have their own budding program for this, including the United Nations now. Um, you wonder, well, are they all doing the same, the same thing or do maybe different things? No, they're all doing the same thing. They're all doing the same thing. <laughs> and you like wonder... Why is why are they all why are governments doing the same thing? These corporations That's doing right. the same? They're all walking together. It's yes. not 
<laughs> we, we can use the simple explanation. Well, we know the enemy Satan is behind it, but he's got to have his minions. Yes. And that's what he's got. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. there's an article just appeared. You already referred a little bit to it. Global censorship strategy, U.S. and U.K. military contractors conspiracy. And in here, um, newly leaked documents have revealed secretive initiative by the U.S. and U.K. Yeah. And that's what you're referring to all of this. Yeah. And the information is out there. Is, is there a possibility that this will be stopped? Now, I look at the Bible. I say everything is going to its conclusion. God can stop something, but realistically, yeah. when we look at Bible prophecy, things happen faster and faster. Yeah. Yeah. And there will be resistance. Yeah. Even H.G. Wells, the globalist, yeah. the technocrat of his day, um, he even said, when the new world order comes about, there will be resistance. Many people will die. This is his own words. Many people will die fighting against yeah. the new world order. Yeah. And it's going that direction, and we're living in that time. Exactly. <clears throat> you know, I, I uh, encourage people to get their hands on hard copy now. Hard copy. If you, if you think the Internet's going to be around so you can access what other story you might get seen in the past, it's, it may not be there someday. Get hard copy into your hands now, whether it's books, papers, things that you download and print them in hard copy. Um, this is the only way that this information you and I put on out, for instance, is going to be in the hands of people they can share it in their groups, their home groups or whatever, in their communities. Um, and I hate to say it, I started out in the printing business in my early life in the 70s. There's going to be a time when printing is going to be back in vogue again, <laughs> I it, think. I, I agree. And, you know, we, we understand the rapture could happen at any moment. <clears throat> yes. we, we understand that. But I agree. It was Chuck Smith, the founder of Calvary Chapels, who said, I believe you know it well, he said, as the church began in homes, it's going to finish in homes. Yes. And I'm encouraging people, have real Bibles. You know, you, you, yes. if, you, if you're a prepper or you just have extra storage of food, listen, have things available. Mm. Get to know who your real friends are, people you can trust now. Yes because it's going to be much harder later right. and print everything. We have uh, the rapture kit that's available, which is great. The Scott Townsend put together, by yeah. the way, everybody is now downloadable too. And you can print, you can start going, there's a lot in there, but you can start printing out those things, print out books on your own, yep. order, order hard <laughs> copy books and, and Bibles and everything you have. I would encourage you go to Patrick's website, technocracynews.com. Go there, get everything that you can, and I wholeheartedly agree. Print things, get real books. <laughs> yeah. Listen, even my latest book yeah. is yeah. great to have something to leave behind that helps explain to people what's going on yeah. for when we're not here. But even now, <clears throat> for while we are here, folks, do everything Patrick just said. Patrick, yeah. do you have any final thoughts for everybody? I have, I put this big red button on you. You can see it right there. Yes. I, will, I tell everybody I talk to now, Go and print, print that, pr press that button, <laughs> download it, and then print it. I have one lady, uh, a, a, a follower of mine for some time. She got a hold of this button, and she told she told me a few days later, she's uh, she's down to her three uh, three uh, three 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 ring binders full of stuff she'd printed already. Wow. She's burning up paper. <laughs> so that's that, great. You know what? I wholeheartedly believe. Check it out, everyone. You can see it on there, uh, the, the downloadable button for that. And yeah. download things, print them. I wholeheartedly agree. Yeah. Have the hard copies. And again, have hard copies of the Bible. Not just, listen, yes. apps are going away. Yes. Bible apps, yeah. they're going away. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we're raptured real soon, but we can see everything going down. <clears throat> yes. The current 50 in 5. We have all these different meetings going on. The technocrats want to run the world, and they don't want that. We're not invited to their party. <laughs> Praise God, we're invited to heaven. Yes. But uh, all of these things are coming about exactly as the Bible yes. says. So we have hope, everybody. Yes. We have hope, and remember, our prayers are answered. Patrick yes. is Absolutely. living proof. Yes. Our hope is in heaven. Yes. It's in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And in the meantime, listen, we don't give up. 
We don't get all worried and troubled about everything. This is what we do. We see the finish line. Yeah. And because we see the finish line, this, this is what we do. We link arms together. We press as hard as we t- can toward the goal of the upper call of God that's in Christ Jesus, recognizing we can see the finish line. So, folks, let's press forward together, do everything that we possibly can uh, for the gospel of Jesus, no matter how much time we're here, knowing one day we're going to get called home. And, and then when we get home, there's going to be great reward and a great reunion Mm-hmm. of uh, of all of us with the Lord. It's going to be great. I can't wait. Now, Patrick, it's <laughs> wonderful having you here. Thank you for joining me. Like I praise the Lord that he <laughs> healed you, and it's just remarkable. Again, yeah. your prayers, everybody. Yeah. God bless you. Join us next time.